In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Meet mobile apps step by step from start to finish. So let's begin. So Google Meet is free. Anyone with a Google account can create a video meeting and invite up to 100 participants and meet for up to 60 minutes per meeting for free. Okay, so how do we use Google Meet on our phone? It's quite simple. Step number one, look for Google Meet in your Play Store or App Store. Then install the app onto your phone and tap open. Now I'm going to give Google Meet access to my camera and microphone. Now it is asking me to sign into Google Meet. You do need a Google account to start a meeting and join a meeting on your mobile device. So I'm going to click on sign in and I'm going to choose one of my Google accounts. If you don't have an account, you can create one by clicking on add another account and then click on create account and follow the process. So once you have a Google account, sign in with your Google account. And now this is the home page of the app. So you can see that Google Meet is a very simple app with fairly simple management options. We haven't actually started the meeting yet. So we can start a new meeting by tapping on the link new meeting. And we can also join a meeting by adding the meeting code here where it says meeting code. So let's start a new meeting first. When we click on the link new meeting, you will see this pop-up window with your share joining info. So I can either click on this link here, which will open a new page on my phone and I can share my meeting information through any of these apps. For example, if I want to invite my hubby to join my meeting through WhatsApp, I can tap on the WhatsApp icon, then select my husband, Tap on next and you can see this is the link for my meeting, which has been automatically put there. Then I'm going to click on send and my husband can now tap the link on his phone and join my meeting instantly by downloading the app onto his phone. So if you're enjoying this video so far, please like the video so that it can be shared with more people and help out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. Anybody can also join my meeting from their computer by typing this meeting code into the meeting code field when they are at meet.google.com and then when they click on join and join now, you can see now that I have actually joined my own meeting using my computer. Okay, so this is how it looks like when you are in a Google Meet video meeting. It will show you right off the bat all the participants in the meeting. You can see here that there are two participants in the meeting, myself, the host, and again myself using my computer on the Google Meet website. Now, if you want to see another person in your video screen, all you need to do is to tap on their picture or little profile here, and they will appear on the main screen of your video and it will identify for you who is visible on the main screen through this upside down pin icon. So this is how you can tell which participant is being shown on the main screen at present. And you can see all your participants right here in list order. You as the host also has the possibility to mute participants. You can do that by clicking on the arrow pointing to the right and tapping on the microphone icon. However, you won't be able to unmute participants because of privacy issues. So we can also remove participants by tapping on the arrow pointing to the right and selecting the minus icon. Then if we tap on the chat icon, which is right here in the middle, we can chat with our participants by writing our message in here. And then we can tap the arrow pointing to the right to send our message. Also, when we click on the information icon or I, it will display our meeting ID here again. And we also have the option again to share our meeting link by clicking on share. 
Now, I'm not sure if you are aware of this, and I've covered this in more detail in the main Google Meet tutorial that I have created. I'll link that down below. But you can see here that it says Google Calendar attachments will be shown here. So you have the option to schedule a Google Meet meeting using Google Calendar. And when you schedule a meeting there, you can also share files in your calendar so that participants have the option to view these before the meeting actually begins. Now, any file or attachments that you share in your calendar is brought to the forefront in your Google Meet meeting. And you will be able to access it right here on their attachments. So this is a really useful feature in Google Meet. Now on your main video screen here, when you lightly tap on it, you can again enable and disable your camera and audio. So if you want to disable your audio, you click on this icon. And if you want to enable it, you click it again. And it's the same for your video or camera. And you can see here that my profile picture is showing when I disable my camera. So this is my profile picture for my Google account. And you can change this profile picture at your Google account. Also, if you want to end the call, then you can tap the red phone icon. If you want to turn on captions, you can do that by selecting the CC icon. And this is a very nice feature that helps you understand a person better in a meeting. So live captions are like subtitles, really, which will transcribe word for word what you're saying, as you can see here. So a very useful feature in case you're not hearing a person properly in a meeting. If you tap this icon here, you can switch to loudspeaker on your phone or internal speakers. And if you click on the dot, dot, dot icon on the top right side, you have more options. For example, you can switch between your front facing camera and back facing camera. You can turn on and off captions here as well. And you can also present screen. Now this is very similar to the share screen option in Zoom. So when we select this feature, you can see it says here, everything on your screen, including notifications will be recorded. It also recommends to enable do not disturb to prevent unexpected notifications, which makes sense. Anyways, if you want to share your screen, tap start broadcast. And you can see now from my desktop that everything on my phone is visible. If I want to stop broadcasting, I can tap on stop broadcasting. And that is how to stop sharing my phone screen. It is really as easy as that. Double tap outside the black box to exit screen broadcast. Also, if you tap on settings again, you can select adjust for very low light. So for example, if you're in a dark location, Meet automatically brightens your camera's exposure so people can clearly see you in the meeting. If you don't want Meet to automatically brighten your camera's exposure, you can turn off low light mode. So now I'm going to end the meeting by clicking on the red phone icon. I have the option to rate the app if I want. And again, I can start a new meeting or join a meeting by adding the meeting code here. So if I click on meeting code, you can see I can add the meeting code right there to join a meeting manually. You can also share your screen directly from here if you click on present. Another really useful feature in Google Meet phone app is that you can rejoin a meeting that you have just left very easily without having to type the meeting code again in here. All you have to do is to tap rejoin and you will be back in a meeting. You also have the option to reuse the meeting ID code for a meeting multiple times. So this makes it very easy to start meetings and invite people to meetings. I guess it's very similar to a personal meeting ID in Zoom. Finally, if you swipe up to see your meetings, you'll be able to access all your scheduled meetings from your Google Calendar right here. So again, a very easy and useful feature. Anyways, guys, this is how easy it is to use Google Meet phone app. If you found this video useful, then please like the video. Also subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.